We were just standing here watching. It's okay. How's the YouTube doing this morning? Well, we don't know just yet until they answer in the comments later, but we'll find out. Well, let me know below how y'all doing. Tim said, drop a comment down below and let us know how you doing. Jesse's hanging out. In the comment section below. Well, he's not hanging out there, but... No. In his silver Laredo. Equals three. That's, where he's, that's where he lost it. Oh, is that why he said that? Yeah. You know, some, there's a whole generation on YouTube who will not know what you're talking about. Yeah, I know. If, if you know what equals three is, comment below. Hey. In the section below. Let me know. You know what time it is. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Some people don't even know who Jim and Arnold is. I need my jumper pack. We're gonna get into it today on the one hundred dollar car. The Echo. This is a 2001 Toyota Echo with a little 1.5 in it. Um, this was pretty much before the Yaris, if I'm not mistaken. This was just, I think this is what the Yaris became. The styling of the Echo greatly also resembles the first generation Toyota Prius, if you remember those. Um, look it up because I'm not talking about the bubbly ones that you see on the road today but they made a generation before um, it's hitting the front it's hitting the back the airbags deployed I'm missing that trim cover yeah that's what I'm that's what I was saying it's pretty much an, an OG Yaris because this was before the Yaris just a cheap little economic car Oh look, it's even got an emergency handle. That's pretty sweet. That's the most legit looking emergency handle I think I've seen before. Most of them are like a little string that you gotta hunt for in the dark. <coughs> they did. Can you believe this thing has a clean title? Me neither. They just hit shit then took off running I guess uh, besides the minor damage it's really not bad uh, this car cost me a hundred dollars why did I buy it well I like Toyotas and it was a hundred dollars um, that's about all I can tell you one of the other local yards has one of these in the same color and I'm gonna go get this airbag and that airbag and the hood and the front bumper and the rear bumper and the rear trunk lid um it's pretty cheap to get those parts i should be coming out about 100 bucks and then i'm going to put those parts on this car because they're the same color and then you'll have a 500 hundred dollar car now it's got manual windows it's got manual door locks it has no intermittent wipers Go watch RCR's video about the intermittent wipers. That's pretty good. Turn signals, it does have delay. Not delay. It does have dimming lights. It also has tilt, which is pretty neat right here. It's got cubby holes everywhere you look. It's got that big one all the way underneath the steering wheel here. It's got one beside this side of the radio. It's got one on that side of the radio. It's got this one right here. It's got two glove boxes. It's got a upper and a lower and that lower one's pretty big it's got pockets in the doors it's got dirty grimy little cubby holes down here that we got to clean it's got pocket like i said in that door just pockets everywhere you look oh and check this out underneath the seat there's a tray where you can put more things that you own uh ashtray cigarette lighter CD player, 
in a base model car. Isn't that bizarre? Uh, it has air conditioning. It has the automatic transmission. This is a four speed because it has overdrive. That's what you always want to look for. And these older Corollas and Echos and Paseos and Geo Prisms and stuff like that. If you ever buy them one used, look for one that has this button. This button means it has a four speed transmission. The four speed transmission is an overdrive four speed, so it's almost a five speed transmission and they do not give problems. You can run those transmissions into the ground and back. They will just continue to work. That is what is in Charlene, my white Toyota Corolla. They make another transmission that is a three speed transmission. The three speed transmission will not have this separate button right here for overdrive. It will just be a smooth covered piece of plastic right here with no button. Those are the transmissions you don't want. Stay away from those. They are not that great. Uh, the gearing is very short, so it does not go down the highway very well. And they also are prone to burning out the transmission uh, with overheating issues and fluid loss. Just, just stay away from the three speed. Buy the four speed. Look for the button. On top of that, let's see. This has one of those steering wheel covers that slides. Probably the reason they crashed this damn thing in the first place. It's got swivel vents. Pretty snazzy. And this is powered by a, like I said earlier, it's a 1.5 liter. I don't know. I am. That's my Mustang. You've got an old lady Mustang. I'll be dead by then. David's not going to put his together. I'm sorry, David. Love you, David, but you're not putting your car together. <laughs> yeah, we were looking at that, and there, it's the same. I, I was pretty confident he wasn't going to run exhaust on it anyway. So... <coughs> Let's do my little thing real quick. The JNC 770R. This has been my favorite booster pack ever. Sold by the Jump and, yeah, Jump and Carry brand. There's a website, jumpstarter.com, or you can follow the link below to Amazon to pick these up directly from Amazon. That I, I've used the crap out of it. It's got USBs, the cigarette lighter, it's got the light on the front. Voltage check. And uh, we'll turn that on and let that thing shoot on it for a second. I'm gonna grab some keys. Thank you. 